All right, so something with tires, uh, when you buy them new, uh, they're kind of slick. I mean, you should really wash them to get some of that uh, release agent off because when these are in a mold, there's a release agent that's put so the rubber doesn't stick to the mold and they come apart, uh, they come off the mold easily. Uh, but other than cleaning them, uh, Dawn soap is really good, just any dishwashing soap. Uh, if you did that, I mean, you probably did it before you mounted the wheels uh, with soap. But uh, let's just say you had already prepped the tires that were glued and then you ran them on carpet for some reason. Uh, I mean, maybe this was the only thing you had and you figured to try it out on carpet. Carpet kind of polishes the tires, so it makes them really slippery. Uh, and then once they're that slick, even on concrete, they'll be sliding back and forth. So one of the things to do, new tires or tires that were polished up, is uh, they sell different sauces for tires. Uh, there are different types of liquids, but to be honest, all you need is oil, some type of oil. You can use power steering fluid if you wanted, transmission oil. I'm just gonna use motor oil, 10W30. Uh, the reason why I picked 10W30 by Peak, this particular brand, is because at, out of all of the oils out there, this quart was given to me, so it was free. That's the reason why. And that, there's no real reason. So I'm just gonna put enough oil to cover the bottom of this container. So you need a container that's big enough just to fit your tire. And one of the things to do is the following. Try to avoid getting oil here on the bead. This one or this one. And the reason why is oil makes rubber soft. It makes it tacky. So if you've ever had tools with rubber grips, after oil, uh, hits them, you'll notice that they get really tacky and sticky and it sticks to your hand. Well, that's what we're gonna do to this tire. So we're just gonna roll it here in the oil and once we have a coating, we're gonna drop it just for fun. Uh, but we're just gonna take some of the excess off. Uh, sometimes I'll do it with just another tire. I'm gonna set that one in there for now. But use a rag. Get all the oil off that you don't want, just lightly. Make sure there's a nice little coating. And then after that, you're just going to let them sit on another rag. One of the things that you're going to notice after a while, because this is motor oil, one, I can use my finger. Uh, if this were power steering fluid, God, use gloves. Uh, but you're going to notice this will eventually get tacky. So I'm just going to let it sit for maybe a few hours. I'm going to run them later today. Uh, but you repeat the process with all four tires. And then when you set them down, generally, short course truck tires, I set them down this way. And the reason why is there's more rubber on the outer face, so there's less of a chance for me to get oil on the bead. I'm gonna have to clean that up uh, shortly. Uh, but that's the reason why, so uh, sit them this way versus that way. Uh, but that's it.